Wagu, this is a local cookie boxing TV. I give my breakdown on the sweet sign, so be in compliance when I tell you to knock out that subscribe button. Terrence Bud Crawford doesn't have a dance partner. A lot of people wanted him to fight Errol the Truth Spence. That fight is not happening. Stan Yonis stepped to the side, everybody knows this. And now the fight between Ugas and Errol Spence Jr. will be happening sometime next year. Who knows? May, March, April, who knows, right? Um, so, I, me personally, on my channel, I did say that I thought that that fight would be better, you know, for Errol. I mean, like Terrence Crawford always says, he doesn't get credit for fights, right? How he's saying, like, oh, it's, it's always an excuse. How, you know, they said, like, Kell Brook hasn't fought at that weight class in three years, you know, or whatever. Um, like, basically, he never gets his credit, right? Sean Porter, I mean, even in this fight, even though he was the first person to stop Ter uh, Sean Porter, it it wasn't, like, a really good stoppage, you know what I mean? His dad threw in the towel. It was, you know, some controversy behind that. So, that's that. So, me me personally on my channel you uh i said it on the live stream or something how i actually preferred if errol spence fought ugas because at least like ugas he's a great fighter you know what i mean uh he beat terrence crawford um in the amateurs and like actually beat a lot of guys gave sean porter a really good fight that it just didn't end up going his way but um yeah, I mean, I, I guess a lot of people really don't see him as a threat more than Terrence Crawford. So, I mean, at least, let's say if Errol Spence can get past Ugas, which a lot of people probably expect to happen and want to happen, um, then the fight between Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford, if it happens, it might not even happen will be a little bit more intriguing, you know, will be more, you know, significant, you know, I should say, undisputed, all the belts included, Gucci bucket hat over here, <laughs> you know, this guy don't have a dance partner, where does that leave him, where does that leave Terrence Bud Crawford now, because all the other top welterweights are taken up right now, you know what I'm saying, so, where does that leave him? So as we all know, Terrence Crawford is not legally binded with top rank and Bob Barham anymore. And I believe he wants to try to explore his options, see what he can do as a free agent now, now that he's finally free. Um, this is a quote from Terrence Crawford. This is something which is going to be big, very big. It already is in certain areas and a lot of people are taking notice of it. It is the future. And he is referring to this company called Combat Chain. A lot of people attended this convention and basically like a introduction to this new piece of technology. Guys like Roy Jones Jr. was there, Eddie Hearn, um, uh, Sonny Edwards, Alexander Usyk, Josh Taylor, Regis Progray was there. A lot of people were there. You know, John Pascal, I think, was there too. I've seen a video of him in there at this convention talking about Combat Chain. Now, Combat Chain is a new piece of technology that is backed by the blockchain um, offering NFTs. I'm not like a huge expert on this stuff, but NFT stands for non-fungible token. Basically, you can buy and collect these pieces of, I guess, art or media, videos, clips. I'm not sure exactly what. Basically, own it and maybe over time it might start to value, add value. Roy Jones Jr. was actually standing behind this saying... Hey, Terrence Crawford, you don't need nobody. You can do this on your own two feet, man. If I had this combat chain stuff back in my day, I'm telling you, man, I, man, I would have been the biggest thing, blah, blah, blah. Roy Jones, listen, man, you are one of the biggest boxing figures in the whole sport, man. Tr complete legend, living legend. 
in the flesh offering advice to Terrence Crawford and all of us as fans know what probably should happen if he wants that Errol Spence fight or or whoever wins against the fight between Errol Spence and Ugas you know um you know I would love for that for him to sign to PBC and stuff and you know have business with Al Heyman or or Floyd Mayweather so I I don't know Floyd Mayweather I, I don't know but Roy Jones is totally behind this whole new technology combat chain it offers things like a medical insurance or you can like basically promote yourself show like clips uh like live sessions behind the scenes type of stuff it's really so new that it's so hard to even basically like talk about it you know what i mean it's it's a lot of things you know i try to go through it look at this combat chain app the integrated super app that brings together each of the different elements of the combat chain ecosystem in an easy to use format underpinned by the combat utility coin token or whatever combat care an initiative to grow and sustain the sport by protecting athletes providing practical support basically like insurance and stuff like that basically it's it's an app <clears throat> that you can like uh i'm guessing it's not like you buy sell crypto but it kind of is going along in that type of lane you know what i mean going into that lane of cryptocurrency and basically uh there was even an interview with um richard schaefer right and he basically was saying that this app in the future might eventually like start to take away piracy people that can get live streams to the fight that don't have to buy this pay-per-view stuff you know what i mean it, it sounds pretty different pretty crazy if you ask me um i'm not sure where exactly terence crawford will fit into all of this into the combat chain but it's pretty interesting and i want to see exactly where he goes from here combat nfts combat chain exclusive nfts non-fungible tokens will offer collectible memorabilia in digital format that can be bought sold and traded within the platform okay backed by the blockchain and featuring the biggest stars of boxing from the past present and the future these one-of-a-kind digital assets will help fight fans connect with the sport like never before so uh, definitely involving some sort of uh you know a crypto here so like i said i'm not sure where terence crawford goes from here uh a lot of people are backing up this whole combat chain like i'm trying to see look at golden boy um ibf ifl tv based in like the uk and and all that and it's just crazy man it's crazy it's like like absolutely crazy look at this golden boy fight um behind the gloves you know um wbc wbo it's just interesting to see where they decide to take this queensberry mtk global so it's interesting to see where terence crawford is gonna go with this man he's obviously interested if he decided to actually attend this you know convention I don't know, man. It's crazy. You know, drop your comments down below. This is a local Koki Boxing TV where I get my breakdown on the sweet science. I don't know where he goes. Will this help him get that Errol Spence fight or the Ugas fight? You know, just depending on who wins. It's it's a to me, it's a very good fight, and I don't know who wins yet. You know, I'm gonna have to really decide on that. But yeah, man. I don't know. He's over here in the ocean trying to intimidate Errol Spence and all that. But I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know if if all of this stuff right here will work. Gucci bucket hat. Gucci bucket hat. Gucci, Gucci, Gucci bucket hat. Anyway, this is a local Koki Boxing TV. I'm out, man.
peace.